Someday I'm going to hire people, Fuller. And these people I speak of, they're going to do work. They're not just going to hang out and play ping pong. They're going to do real live work so I don't have to do everything around here. Hey guys, Sean again, Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube. We got another vehicle spotlight for you today. Today it's our 2005 Hummer H2 that we did a leveling kit and some 14 wides and some 36s or something. We'll go check it out. Let's go! Hey guys, like I said, this is our 2005 uh, Hummer H2. I never had one of these, so we went and got one of these. Um, it's got a few miles on it. I think it's got like 130,000 miles on it or something like that. Like I said, it's an 05. Bought it completely stock uh, two weeks ago. Basically, we went in and did a Pro Ride leveling kit. So that brings that front end up about two inches. And what that did is it allowed us to clear these 14 wides and the 32550s. It just barely rubs to the point where I'm just gonna leave it rub. We're not gonna mess with it too much. We moved it back a little bit, I believe, but not much. And it, it, you can see that there's some witness marks, but not enough worth uh, messing with. But this has got some 22 by 14 chrome hostile knuckles. And you can see we took off all of the little inserts and went uh, matte black with those. Just kind of make the wheel pop a little bit. And then we got our fancy new uh, valve stem caps on there and our new spike lug nuts. Those will all be on the website by the time you see this video. You can see for our lip test, 22 by 14, negative 76. If I go um, where one of these bump outs is, it's all of eight inches. I would say damn near eight inches there, probably eight and a half, nine inches where these bump outs are. So it's got a nice lip on the wheel. As far as the tires, these are a brand new tire that just came out. It's the Amp. The hell was it called? Attack. Uh, mud terrain attack. So if you look at the tread pattern, it's a very unique new style that they came out. The sidewall has kind of these A letter A's. It must be for the attack all along the sidewall. It's a neat aggressive tire. What I really liked was the price point on it. Um, we'll put a link to this vehicle and you can see the price of this package, but the tires were super reasonable. That's why we figured we'd give them a shot. This is a he nice heavy truck, so we thought it would be a good one to try these tires out on. And because it's a 32550, it's a 34.8, so it's just short of uh, 35 inches, because we wanted to shorten up a little bit, because we knew with a leveling kit we'd be close on this H2. And then it's about 12.8, almost 13 wide. So you can see on a 14 wide wheel, it's got a little stretch to it. It's not a straight up and down sidewall, but it's not terrible. You don't look at it and say, oh my God, they stretch the living crap out of that uh, mud tire. It just has a little bit of stretch to it. So, you know, not being a huge uh, stretch mud tire guy, this is probably the limit for me. And the 32550s pretty much always look about like that when you put them on a 14 wide. So they're, they're pretty good if you're trying to keep with a, a shorter tire and you don't want to go up to a 37, 13 and a half. That was the reason that I did that. So. The rest of it is pretty hummery. Uh, went through and had these tinted, so all the side markers are tinted. If you come around the ass here, tinted the tail lights. It's got an aftermarket exhaust on it. It came like that. It looks like it's a Flowmaster. Sounds pretty good. You'll hear the startup clip. Actually, probably already did in the beginning of the video. Um, interior. Can take a peek back here. We just took my uh, sub from my college dorm room from uh, 1997. No, it had been 99 and mounted that in there. This is going to be a rental vehicle, so I didn't give them the good stuff. I gave them the JBL from 20 years ago. It sounds fine. And then in here, check out the interior. Like I said, it's a rental vehicle, so you'll 
be able to see this at fourplayrentals.com. Here you go, Fuller. Check it out, bro. Little plug, little plug. Go check it out. I'm pretty impressed with the interior. For uh, being an 05, it, it was really clean. Really happy with how clean it got after I spent about three hours. Um, there's a new cleaner that uh, Killer Wax came out for leather. It cleans it and then a, there's a moisturizer, a conditioner also. Went through and redid this. And it's freaking amazing. I fell in love with this stuff. So we'll have that on the website in the next week or two. Because if I love it, I know you guys usually love it. You can see it's got the step bars. Pretty much typical Hummer stuff. Just did the LED um, headlights, the bulb replacements. Now we don't carry those, but we pretty much just always use Race Sport. So you can go online and find Race Sport pretty much all over the place, but it's just the bulbs. It just brightens it up. Um, tinted the daytime running lights because they were ugly and nasty, and that was the quickest, cheapest way to cover them up. Did I miss anything for? It's a Hummer, it's an H2, it's leveled, it's got 14 wides, it's got some badass hostiles on it. If you want to rent it, it's only $149 a day. Take your homies out, go do homie things in the H2. Is that it, guy? Hey, check out that sweet Lambo. Remember to subscribe, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube. So it's youtube.com slash custom offsets. Peace.